Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today bring you a Snapchat q and I asked you guys earlier today on my Snapchat, which by the way, uh, the link is in the description box down below, or I'm just gonna put it right here on the screen, just at Trick Fisher. Um, I asked you guys earlier today to send me any of your guys' questions, whether they are movie related, fitness related, lifestyle related, anything and everything you guys responded. I uh, got a bunch of questions from you guys and gonna run through them right now. So question number one, here we go. Jarrell Crowder asks, Snapchat Q&A, can you make a video on how you perform your muscle ups in good form also how many can you do in a row? Uh, the most muscle ups I've ever done in a row is like 12. Um, I've never really tried to rep them out. I think I was doing sets of 12 actually. Um, I'm not really sure how many I can do in a row. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I've been kind of sick a little bit this past week, so bear with me. Um, but um, can you make a video on how you perform your muscle ups in good form? Uh, yes, I will do that uh, very soon. Maybe in the next vlog uh, when I go hit back or something. All right, Siobhan McMakin asks a couple questions. She says, what fictional place would you most like to go? Number one, uh, right here, Jurassic Park. An up and running Jurassic Park without dinosaurs escaping and eating me, I think would be very, very cool. Also, what are you most looking forward to in the next 10 years? Honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm looking forward to in the most 10 years. Maybe um, finding a home rather than moving to Florida, coming back to Indiana, having plans on moving back. To, like I want to find a home, um, a place to call home. I know Indiana is not uh, the place for me. Florida definitely felt like the place for me, but not at the right time. Um, so in the next 10 years, I want to find that place that really feels like home to me I guess so um, and then her final question is what movie title best describes your life uh good fellas I feel like I feel like I'm pretty pretty good fella next question from Omberger John let's see what John's got to say he says favorite dance in Fortnite the L dance you drop a team with a rocket launcher you kill somebody whatever um, they're viewing you you drop that L dance uh, sends a real message that you got that W. Next question, he says, referring to your Ready Player One review, what things from our current day do you think we will look back on or look back with nostalgia on? That's a very good question. I think we'll look back on Fortnite, actually. I think uh, Fortnite will be a very integral part of um, what we are experiencing right now because it's just absolutely dominated uh, the video game world. And Ready Player One was very... Um, video game driven um, in terms of movies I think that we will look back on something like the Harry Potter movies or um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now we're kind of just in the swing of things with the MCU like they're coming out bang 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 three movies a year but when we are 20 years down the road uh, 30 years down the road and we look back at Iron Man Captain America Thor and none of these characters that are in the MCU anymore and maybe it's still carrying on, maybe it's ended, whatever. We look at how the MCU completely changed film because if you really think about it, connected universes like the MCU didn't really exist, at least on the scale that they do right now. And the MCU changed that and it showed a clear formula on how to succeed at that. Other, other like the studios have failed at it, like DC for instance, but... Um, <clears throat> I think we will look back on the MCU number one um, as the most nostalgic thing from right now because superhero movies are the big thing and that is the king of superhero movies. The MCU I think is the number one thing that we will look back on uh, with nostalgia. Alright, Dylan Faith, speaking of Infinity War and Fortnite, he says, hey, let's play Fortnite one day. Um, guys, add me on PlayStation Network, just King of the MP. I'm actually going to start streaming here on Twitch um, very soon. I'm trying to create my own channel for Twitch. Uh, that way I can kind of uh, play with you guys and stream. Um, and let you guys kind of watch me play Fortnite because I do play a lot of Fortnite and then uh, he also says who's gonna live and die in Infinity War I honestly don't think we're gonna lose too many people in Infinity War um, But the big characters that I think we will lose um, Unfortunately, I think Captain America uh, is gonna bite the dust. I think Tony Stark will carry on um, because uh, Robert Downey Jr. is such a big part of um, what we have built here in the MCU. He's kind of uh, the pioneer of the MCU. Uh, I think that he will live. I think the big character that will die 
it's probably Captain America just because um, I'm not going to say he's replaceable, but he is replaceable. And I think Black Panther, uh, T'Challa, uh, can take that spot uh, there at the head of the MCU uh, where he has been. So I think he's going to be that big main character to die. Uh, but I do think uh, characters like Captain Amer or Iron Man, Thor, I still think there's more story uh, for Thor to tell. Um, so I... I think those characters will make it through, but I think the big one that dies uh, is Captain America. But I would love to be surprised at the end of the month. Um, so I'm super excited for Infinity War. All right, H. Moon says, what is your least favorite movie of all time? My least favorite movie of all time is the third movie in the trilogy right here, right here. Spider-Man 3 is my least favorite movie of all time. Why do I say that? It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's my least favorite because Venom... The villain to Spider-Man, Venom, is my favorite comic book character, hero, villain, whatever. Venom is my favorite comic book character of all time. And first off, they cast Topher Grace as Eddie Brock. Wrong. Not a good Eddie Brock. Second off, the CGI and the way they made Venom look once he was in his suit was horrible. So, so bad. They completely ruined the character, butchered it from start to finish in that movie. Um, I guess I did like the the black suit, the symbiote suit, when it was on Peter Parker. But, man, once it took over Eddie Brock, I hated it. And they ruined my favorite character of all time. But I am excited for Tom Hardy to reboot that character and uh, kind of make it new and make it better. And I'm very optimistic for what Sony has in store for us uh, later this year with that Venom movie. So, um, yes, Spider-Man 3 is my least favorite movie of all time. Next question, Corinna Gaffney says, favorite Disney character slash when are we getting margaritas? I'll be looking out for the video. Uh, we can get margaritas literally anytime uh, because I am down for margaritas literally anytime. Chips, salsa, margaritas. I don't care if I'm bulking or cutting. I can fit those in. Um, so literally anytime. Anytime. You name it, I'll be there. And favorite Disney character. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that back there. Aladdin. Aladdin. I have that poster back there. Aladdin is my favorite Disney character of all time. Nick Morgan says, what's your favorite Harry Potter movie? My favorite Harry Potter movie. I just keep showing you posters. My new posters. Um, right over here. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is my favorite Harry Potter movie. I just love the way it wraps everything up in such an epic way. Um, that movie keeps you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I remember sitting in the theater um, literally like six months after Deathly Hallows Part 1 came out and you're sitting there and you're watching it and you're like, oh my gosh, we've spent so many years watching these kids grow up, watching these characters develop and building this story and now you have this war between Voldemort and Harry and oh my gosh, it was like, oh, I loved it so, so much. Um, so Deathly Hallows Part 2 is my favorite Harry Potter movie. All right, Cynthia asks, your life is now a movie. Who stars as you? If you got to be in any movie... Okay, she asked three questions. Your life is now a movie. Who stars as you? If you got to be in any movie, what would it be? Not Jurassic Park. Um, and if you could be any actor, who would it be? If I could be any actor, I would be Hugh Jackman. I think Hugh Jackman is the most talented actor of all time. He can sing. He can dance. He can act his freaking butt off. He's jacked. He's good. Like, Hugh Jackman is seriously the perfect person. Like, come on, man. Um, so I would be Hugh Jackman. And if I could have somebody star as me, it'd probably be Hugh Jackman. I mean, he kind of looks like me. Do I kind of look like Wolverine? Maybe? No? Okay, whatever. So, um, if I could be in any movie, what would it be? Not Jurassic Park. I would love to be in either a Star Wars movie or an MCU movie. Probably a Star Wars movie. Yeah, if I could be in any movie at all, I would want to be in a Star Wars movie. Maybe be a new Skywalker or something. House Skywalker. I love this shirt, by the way. House Skywalker. The Force is strong with us. I love this shirt. All right, Alyssa Nicole says, my question... When are you going to come cuddle with me? <sighs> Carlos Hernandez says, Hey man, will you lend a hand on figuring out my macros? Absolutely. I'm going to need a little bit more information than that. I'm going to need uh, 
different things like your weight, uh, your height, uh, your daily activities, your schedule, what kind of workout you're running, all, all, all sorts of different things because uh, macros aren't just um, as simple as a lot of people think they are. Uh, sure, you can go use macro calculators online, but um, a lot of times to be more dialed in and to really get um, to a goal as efficiently and as effectively as possible, uh, you're going to have to take a lot of things into account, um, which... I try to do with every single one of my clients. I'll send them a questionnaire that's very comprehensive, um, which you can find on TregFisher.com because I still do my online personal training. I have different plans. Um, I have eight-week plans, 12-week plans, um, workout plans, different things to help uh, really anybody to achieve uh, their goals. So, um, yes, I can help you out with my macros. Uh, shoot me an email or something, and we'll talk. Rocky XQ8 says, hey, Treg, what's up? Thank you for your awesome content. You deserve more views for sure. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I have two questions. You work out alone most of the time. Does that mean you get better results working out alone than with friends? I actually think I get better results uh, working out with friends. Um, but I live in northern Indiana, and I don't have a ton of friends here. I mean, um, this is where I grew up, but a lot of people kind of move. A lot of people kind of come in and out of your life. They don't necessarily find fitness as fun and as much of a um, staple in their life as I do. So a lot of times I just work out by myself because I'm a lot more serious about it than other people. So if I'm working out with other people, um, we're not necessarily going to have the same goals. So I do work out by myself the most, but if I have a friend that has very similar fitness goals as myself, um, that's really when I can thrive and make the most gains. And then he also says, do you see Black Panther as an A plus movie? Does it live up to your expectations? Thank you. Um, I don't know if it's an A plus movie. It's definitely an A. Um, does it exceed like what I would picture as like a baby driver that just blows me away when I'm watching it and I love it from start to finish or a Jurassic Park or a Dawn of the Planet of the Apes or a Terminator 2 right behind me. Um, those are A plus movies in my opinion. I think Black Panther is a very good movie. It's an A. Um, but A plus? Uh, probably not. It definitely lived up to my expectations though. I thought it was going to be a great movie and it was a great movie. Um, so yes, I loved it. A plus? Probably not, but definitely an A. So... Yeah, I enjoyed Black Panther. All right, so last question. Juan Lopez says, Hey, Treg, how do you get through plateaus with your workouts? Thanks. So I guess you could look at plateaus in the gym the same as you look at plateaus in life. Um, you've gotten to a point where you feel stagnant, where you don't feel like you're necessarily making progress. You don't feel like you're going anywhere. You feel like you're kind of spinning your wheels. Um, the biggest thing that I can say is change things up. Nothing is going to spark progress in your life more than change. Maybe switch up the environment. Go to a new gym or something. Maybe switch up some exercises that you haven't really done. Um, and a few different changes in your life are really going to spark um, that desire to continue to get better. Because a lot of times plateaus can just be mental. You might be going in the gym and you don't feel that drive. You don't feel that fire to continue getting stronger, to continue building muscle, to continue doing these different things. Or even in life, you might not feel driven to wake up and go to work. You might not feel driven to count your macros, to watch your diet, to drink a gallon of water a day, to get six to eight hours of sleep. You might not feel driven. You might not have that fire to do all those things in your life. But I guarantee switching up your environment, switching up some of your daily routine, maybe uh, taking a cold shower instead of a hot shower, maybe um, not taking um, one way to work and going a different way, even if it takes a little bit longer. Just changing, changing up the scenery, changing up the routine is going to be huge um, in sparking that flame again, sparking that desire. And then once you kind of found that new routine, found that way to get that fire back, to get that desire, and you start to break through that plateau, then maybe start adding in some of those things again that were part of your routine before. But um, nothing is going to break through a plateau in the gym, your life, whatever, more than change. So change things up, whether it's a few exercises in your workout, whether it's a few things in your daily routine from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. Um, nothing is going to spark that change, or spark, um, that 
uh, break through from that plateau more than change. But that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Snapchat Q&A. I love these. These are my favorite videos to make. I feel like I can just sit down and talk to you guys. Um, but yes, um, thank you again for sending in your questions. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, um, the link is in the description box below or just at Trick Fisher on Snapchat. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that red subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.